Glitters21 did a tag, like five random things around my room that described her personality. And I thought it was a cool idea. I had never seen that tag before, but I'm going to do it. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is a little bit childish, I think, but it has a lot of sentimental, like, sentimental value for me and are my stuffed toys. I have a lot of them that I have collected through my life and well, this one right here my boyfriend gave me on our very first Valentine's Day so I don't know it just like reminds me of him and the other one it's this one and this was given to me by my avid tutor. I, when I was in high school, I didn't want to go to college. I just kept my mind on just, like, after graduation, I'm just going to work and that's all. But my mentor, he, my tutor, he motivated me and insisted on me on going to college. And he had a really great like an impact on me. He was also a good friend of mine. Sadly, he passed away two years ago and he had a heart attack. I have this one on, on, on over there on my bedside table and it's next to my alarm clock, and alarm clock and it's just like a reminder to myself that to strive to we become better, we count them as one because they're basically in the same category. So that's that. And the other thing, I... So, the second one, I think it's really important to have some inspiration in your life. I find it often through music and my favorite performer is Michael Jackson. And I don't know if you can tell, but I have a Michael Jackson t-shirt on today. Uh, it's just coincidence. I didn't plan this on purpose. So I just, like, got up and grabbed the first shirt that I, got, that I saw in my closet and it was this one. But yeah, I have all of Michael Jackson's CDs from his... It's, um, from his... Yeah, from when he separated from the Jackson 5, I have them, all of them. It's off the wall, thriller, bad. This one's my favorite, dangerous. Mm, history, blood on the dance floor, invincible, number one, and this is it. Yeah, this is it. So that's my second. The third one, okay, my second, the third one, it's kind of embarrassing to me, but I have weights, little ones, the three pound ones, because uh, I, I was through a lot of stress um, during the, like, mm, I want to say from the summer to the day, I was very stressed because um. In my old job, I like new people came in and people did not have a good vibe to them, so I was really stressed out and I having to go to college at night and just not good for me. So I I stressed out a lot. I started eating a lot, and obviously I could keep gaining weight. So I have this like to kept help me stay fit. Yep help me stay fit but unfortunately I don't use them very much so they just are in my closet and from time to time I take them up to work out so that's the third so my fourth one it's this little case and I got this one at Marshalls I, like a couple of years ago and I have it on I have it under my bed and I having here is like the most important things for me. If I are in my house, this case is the first thing I'm going to take with me. And it's kind of silly because if I open it up, it's nothing very important in here for 
for other people, but for me it's very important. So it's this case, and over here, they, um, it's just letters from my friends, and yeah, I love letters from ex-boyfriends, but, and, oh my god, this is the, the Oh, the card my 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 tutor, my other tutor, the one I just talked about gave me my graduation. So I here I just keep a bunch of cards like these and letters. And when I'm sad and I have nothing to do or when I don't have anything to do, I have to go to each one of these, so it's just, just reminds me of happy times, my friends from my country, my senior pictures, uh, pictures from middle school and high school. The reason I keep this is because I like to keep my memories. I remind myself through the sad times when you feel like nobody loves me. Yeah, there's people who love you and here's my proof. Okay, and this last thing, it's, again, more memories. Um, so, it's this, oh, it's too long, this, and this one, and probably you don't know, but I took photography when I was in my other school. But over here, so I have some lenses. This is like, you can zoom up to 100 feet away with this one. I have a, an old camera. Let's say the Canon A A A21, and this is a great camera. If you want to start with photography, you have to get your hands on this one because um, it's amazing. And on the other case. I have another camera. I love film. I love film cameras more than di the digital ones. Because I just like to uh, take the photos and you don't know how it's going to come out. And when you go to your dark room or if you go to like the phone center at the Walmart or in anywhere uh, or any drugstore, and I like to see how the picture comes out just like that thrill of knowing how it came out. It's amazing. And I actually, this camera fell off my hands and it doesn't close over here where the batteries are. So I can't use it anymore. So. But I have, I still have it. it. It has, there's a lot of memories attached to this one. So there it is. And some flash. And yeah, that was it so i hope to see you guys soon and if you want to do this video be please do it and with your response to me or let me know you make this video and i'll see you then we'll see you and everything will be good so thank you guys for watching bye